Okay, so this video is about which put option should you buy. I've already created a video on which call option should you buy, but this is particularly for those who like to purchase put options when they have bearish view on a counter. Buying a put option is comparatively much simple when it comes to the rules associated with it as compared to buying call option, as you might figure out by watching the other video. What you should really do is always go with a put option with at least one month expiry. That is, even if you're trading intraday, go with the put option that's going to expire one month out. For any other time horizon of your trade, double the expiry of your put option. So if your view is about a month, buy a put option that is going to expire in at least two months. Go with a delta of at least 70 when you're buying a put option. Now, why should you have longer term strike on your put options? Because when the put options start going in the money, they very quickly lose their extrinsic value and they pretty much start trading as if you've shorted the actual stocks. In other words, the more delta they gain, the more they start behaving like shorting the stock itself and they start losing their extrinsic value. That means you should always go with higher delta so that you gain the maximum when the counter is going down. And the reverse is also true, which helps a lot for put options. What that means is when the counter does not go in your favor, that is, it doesn't go down, but it starts going up, put options do not lose their extrinsic value that quickly. So even if the counter starts rising, chances are it still has a lot of extrinsic and intrinsic value because you bought 70 delta. And as a result, you lose comparatively much less even if the trade went against you.